So I found that uh, when you want to engrave an image into glass instead of using black paint on glass is what I normally use to get that frosted look like it's been chemically etched I found uh, a new compound that's better and in the case of tile this is tile it's a lot darker than normal this uh, new compound leaves a higher contrast image it, uh, it does spray on in one layer coat washes off with water and uh, Brillo pads steel wool don't have to use paint thinner anymore so basically what we're talking about using is Rust-Oleum's cold galvanized compound comes in the spray can it's about nine bucks for a can of this again use the cold one galvanized it's like 90 some odd percent zinc or something so it's the zinc metal that gets evaporated by the laser here I have a, a Brillo pad and this one is one I just pulled off the laser I have absolutely no idea what the results are going to look like just kind of scrub it down with the old Brillo pad because you can't hurt the, the tile it's part of it now There it is. Heat resistant, scratch resistant. Put any type of image you want on there on the tile. And of course, if you're going to use it as a coaster or something like that, you can put uh, felt pads or cork pads on the back, which you can buy at a dollar store. This is a, uh, a pickle jar. You can see where I sprayed the stuff on there. I ran a same image kind of at an angle on there. Haven't, uh, cleaned it off yet pickle jars got little ridges the little ridges like to hold the hold the paint so I won't waste your time watching me try to clean the paint out of the little ridges well, paint, I don't know if you really should call it paint so much as it's they refer to it as a compound but I'll try to get the water cleared off so you're not looking at uh, water droplets you can maybe see the image but there it is I don't know, does it help to have my hand as a background does it make it easier to see the image but it's part of the glass it says it's like if you'd chemically etched it into it. It's not going anywhere. So what can I say? Um, I haven't tried all the different ones. The particular number on this one for your own screenshot. Like I say, I like this so much better than paint normally on a white tile. I'm going to put uh, white paint on here because when the white paint gets lasered it uh, burns off dark. Darker for whatever reason. It just does. But then you got to take it out and you got to use lacquer thinner or, or some other harsh chemical to get the paint off. And now I can just do it in the sink. No fuss, no muss. Take steel wool to it, clean it up, and be done with it. Um, I'll show you one add on. Oh, before we do that, has nothing to do with this, but you all know that you can get. Let me move this viewfinder. You can get these mirror coasters at the dollar store and that's uh, an image that I burned into it just burn it onto the back side on your laser so if you want a nice glass something that can't scratch can take high heat for a buck you can do those at the dollar store whatever image you want on there for example though here's the material you can find it on Amazon and this seller has it for eight dollars and sixty seven cents and I guess uh, if you have Prime, it's free shipping, or if you buy 25 bucks worth, it's free shipping. But uh, this is the same one. You do want to make sure that you get the, you know, the one that says all the same words, because I've noticed that there are some different ones out there. Some of them said shiny galvanized. Well, this is the cold 
galvanized. And that's why I showed you the number on the back of the can so you could get the, the same number. This seems to be the same stuff because there's the number right there. Anyway, it seems to be well worth using. Seems to be a, a lot more contrast, easier to clean up. Certainly easier to apply since it's one single coat of the stuff. And because it's a different color, you can definitely tell when you've got one coat on there. Dries really fast, faster than paint. I don't know. It just seems uh, like it might be worth trying if you're into doing tiles and glass. I haven't tried it on any other uh, surfaces yet. It might be worth dinking with on... Uh, on metals just to see what would happen too because it's maybe when that uh, zinc here's where it says 93 percent pure zinc coating it's got to be that zinc metal that explodes from the laser that uh, somehow etches into the the glazing on the tile and what it does to the glass I don't know but it's part of it you can feel it so there you go give it a shot try it doesn't cost much